Welcome back to Fallout 4. So last time we found the fusion cores and were able to go to Vault 81. Actually, I wasn't anticipating going here so soon. But we've unlocked it and we're going to see what's all up here. Probably some pretty interesting things. I'm not so sure they are the vault they're showing themselves to be but headed back to sanctuary after the last episode just to unload some stuff and he sent some stuff just for some for some materials get some of that weight off of us but should be good to go Let's see what they've got inside vault 81 what you find boy what is it? Where are you? Stick to the road. You got a better chance of surviving. What's it that you found? Fusion cores are for. I think they're for power armor, but. So you're back. I take it you got what Overseer McNamara was looking for. Yes. Yep, all three of them. All right. I'm opening the door. Overseer McNamara and myself will meet you at the entrance. Oh, and behave yourself. You start any trouble, we'll toss your ass right back outside. I don't know that. Just do the best with what you can. <sighs> what That's all I I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. <coughs> Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Huh. Aside reliance. So you do rely on the Commonwealth. A bit, yes. Although some here would argue that opening our doors was a mistake. Interaction is good. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Put them to good use. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Seems pretty nice. I don't want to hear any negative reports oh. about you, outsider. Looks like it's all <laughs> stealing from this point on. <clears throat> so, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? I will encourage it. It's that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. 
Just be prepared. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, <laughs> they I don't sure want to did. You, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. There's a lot of stuff I want to steal, but we better be mindful of everyone in here. Is that your Pip Boy? It better be. I don't like you. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Looking. Just taking a look around. Is the overseer just letting anyone in these days? Fellow Dark I'm a fellow dweller. vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Ooh. We tried to be Dr. nice. Forsyth and Rachel had plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. No signs of radiation. Impressive. I've got some. Always oh, looking at the cores. You're that Commonwealth Traveler, aren't you? Uh, <clears throat> it must be rough living out there. Hey, Ashes. Get by. Get up here. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Got her right here. Don't worry. Katie Penn is a teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. I heard we had a traitor in today. I wonder what the experiment here is. Hi. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Oh, I will. A lot of stuff in here. It's all stealing at this point. All right, so screening elevator exit zone. Come on, boy. Once we get down, all hell break loose. Maybe they just lure us in here. I've got you, buddy. Heads up. How you doing, buddy? What are they doing hey, here? mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Same. Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, free. but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. Get a tour from this kid. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Uh, what what do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. We did. If <laughs> Mr. Combs is sleeping around and you know about it, kid, I'm sure his wife does too. This is like a small town. Go on. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. 
She enforces them. Does she them. take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. How many people are in this vault, kid? I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. What the rest of the food? Other food, other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? <laughs> I like mine. I hate combing it though. Grain makes me comb it. You are the typical little kid. Be talkative. Get out of here. Go on, kid. Glitched out or what? Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair though. It's not fair. Good to know. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Oh! Is this my son? What happened to your parents? Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics <laughs> lab. It's where we get all our food. And from you outside. don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Katie. Come Dr. On, Penske. Hurry up. My latest batch go of food is doing leaving. quite well. Well, thanks for taking my tour. Everything's under control. Oh, no. Austin. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Nice I before. failed. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Oh, Grand Austin. Grand almost hit when it comes to food. Did I fail that? Hey, Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Yes, I have. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? Gladly. I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Well, this is... There's got to be something going on here. This vault is huge, too. Excuse me. Hey, outsider. Do me a favor. 
If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. All right. All right. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. Bobby clean. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. My supply. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk. He gets cut off. Good. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Please direct any maintenance requests. What are you doing? Bobby, what hey are there. you doing? Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Just looking around. Just taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Not a dealer, I'm buddy. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Bobby. Well, I do not know what we're supposed to do in here. I failed the tour. Hacking this is beyond me. Old overseer's terminal. Well, hacking it might be beyond us, but we've got three points. So I think we can be able to do it. Oh, 21 is the level. I bet you there's some jacked up stuff in that. stuff to steal you guys are so stocked this could all help me so much take a shortcut hello Katie this will be a rare treat for the kids is that I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say whatever you want forget it I can't be bothered with it right now. I'm not talking to Tina. We should go to the overseer's office. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. I am pretty lost. Doesn't look like that's where I need to be. Look like yes. that's where I need to be either. Where's the school room? I should have paid attention during this tour. It's by the diner. Wherever the diner is. The doctor's welcome, office. Welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Amy. <laughs> I might. For some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? Amy Moore. That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. Sure, I'll do it. Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. All right, where would you like me to pop a squat here, buddy? Right here. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? 
Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Sounds good. You knew that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Do you Any get patients? a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. All right. Well, let's call the episode here. I think we got a lot to do in this vault, so we will um, pick up next time with Vault 81. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.